So then I was like, girl, your face is a funhouse maze. Ugh. You said that to her? Well, officially, I was like, I'm sorry you find our websites confusing, but it seems like you don't even have an account with us. Could it be someone else's program you got lost in? Ugh. I'll be trying to tell y'all, the customer is not always right. Well, what did she say? Well, she hung up at that point because she just couldn't handle the truth. I have no faith in humanity. Hi, hi, people. Oh, hi, Brenda. Hi. Mars is in the money house. Perfect time to launch our program. It's finally time for the world to get to meet Brenda Blounder, Blounder Babe Life. I just want to say how proud I am of everyone. Give yourselves a big hand, Team Blunder. Come on. And it was love. Emma, you've got the program content written, right? Yes, it's all there in the online docs. Great. Travis, how long is that going to take you to upload? Just like a few minutes, right? Uh, no, not exactly. I mean, it's going to need some graphics so it reflects the Blounder Babe's vibe. It's going to need some formatting so it's not just big chunks of paragraphs on the page. Oh, I didn't write in big chunks of paragraphs, so you can just keep the current formatting. I can't do that because I have to work with tags and bolds and alignment. Okay, so how long will it take? Four days, assuming I'm not interrupted by additional projects or distracting side endeavors. Okay, everybody got that? Don't send anything Travis's way. Travis, rock and roll, it's all on you. Yeah. How about the marketing, Kelly? Yes, the campaign is launched and it's already getting a ton of interest, although um, there is some confusion with a smoothie company called Blender Babes, but um, I'm sorting that out, sort of. Ugh. I love smoothies, but I hate smoothie people, you know? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Dan, have you uh, gotten with Emma about the social posts? Absolutely, I have. Um, but it turns out Emma's written some sort of stellar copy that's sort of going to rock the internet, like the Casper. <laughs> Great job, Emma. Hey, uh, uh, okay. we have a problem. What? <laughs> problem? You... Whatever it is, it's okay. When something happens, there's always someone who can do something. Oh my God, that was so inspiring. Emma, write that down. <laughs> Travis, what is it? Uh, it's Emma's copy. Wait, what? What's wrong with my copy? <clears throat> Xander and Anthony stood side by side on the bridge of the Starship Frontier. No wonders the galaxy could show them would ever equal the wonders in each other's eyes. Emma, what, what is that? Uh, I don't know what could have... Well, it appears to be Space Quest fan fiction. Wait, uh... Homoerotic Space Quest fan fiction. I didn't write that. That's not mine. <laughs> Did you send the wrong links? Uh, no, 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 no. I, uh, I, I've been writing the Blonder Babes content right there in the online docs. It was there last night when I finished it. Well, it's not here now. <laughs> Now there's just the sweet flush of Xander's pale blue skin as Anthony cups his face in the light of Elsinore's twin moons. You write gay Space Quest fan fiction? No! But this is not in the plan. I'm unexpectedly <laughs> weirded out by this. Okay, Brenda, I've been working on that copy for three months. You reviewed it every week. You know that it was ready. Yeah, I know. So where is it? Well, I have no idea what could have happened. But you have the copy backed up, right? Emma! What kind of anarchist doesn't back up their work? You need to find it. I, I will. What if you don't have it? Well, I, I do. I, I, I'll find it. I, and if I don't, I'll write it from scratch. No, I don't want some half-assed copy full of mistakes! No, absolutely not. It'll be just as good as the first. Okay. I, it'll be better. Okay. Let's stay positive. You're going to find it. Everybody say it with me. She's going to find it. Say it. She's going to find She's it. She's going, going to find, find, it. find it. See, Emma, we all believe in you. 
Okay, Team Blounder, we are going to have a lot of disappointed people because we're late. Kelly, what do we do? Um, we offer scholarships to three people who can write the best essays on why they would make a great Blounder babe. Then they'll be happy to have the extra time so they can write. Oh my God, you are so positive. <laughs> I manifested you perfectly. Okay, Kelly's saving the day. Emma, look, whatever happened here, just let it go. So sorry, I don't know what could have No, happened. no, no. Something happened, just let it go. Let it go. And if you wrote that gay fan fiction, I think that's great. Besides, we all have a little gay fan fiction in us. Just move forward. Like a blounder babe. Xander gazed into Anthony's eyes, as blue as the waters of his home. All right, world. cool. Yeah, great. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Have a good day. Okay, I write space quest fan fiction, and yes, my stories are LGBTQ. So what? It was supposed to be private. It was private. What the hell happened? How did it even get into the online docs for the program? And where the hell did the program copy go? I'm not gonna be able to rewrite that in a week. I'm gonna have to drop all my other clients. I'm gonna probably lose Brenda too. I'm gonna have no clients and I'm gonna lose my apartment. Oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, it's fine. I can handle this. It's not gonna be that bad, right? Nothing vanishes online completely, right? It has always been my philosophy in life that difficulties vanish when faced boldly. And I have yet to turn my back on one. Isaac Asimov. Hey everyone, Leslie here. Thank you for watching. So we left Emma in kind of a pickle. What do you think she should do next? Do you think that she should try to find the copy? Or do you think that she should try to rewrite all of the copy from scratch? If you think that she should try to find the copy, or maybe who took it, vote A by leaving the letter A in the comments below. If you think that she should try to rewrite all of the copy from scratch, vote B by leaving the letter B in the comments below. I'm really looking forward to seeing your votes because your votes are going to decide what happens in the next episode of Remote Control. Um, so be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to see where the story goes. See you in two weeks.